Hello and welcome back to Eagle Hive and in this video we'll be focusing on how to create an Oracle database. So often the installation of the Oracle web logic server make sure that you do not click on configure the web logic server because you're going to configure it later on in the video. So having said this I'll just go to the folder where I have my software. So this is where I have my software. After downloading these documents just extract them and you'll find these folders. So for my case, I'll open this P6R2212, so double click. I'll go to P6, P6Ute, double click on this, and then I'll launch the database folder, and I will run the database setup. This one, I'll right click, I'll run as the administrator, and I'll just give it a few minutes. So I can just minimize this for now. So having done this, this pop-up window will be launched where I want to run the Primavera database setup wizard. And this is Primavera P6. So I want to install, but for another person, you might need or you might want to upgrade the P6, the Primavera P6 database. So just install a new database and I'll use the Microsoft SQL server. I'll click on next. So the database server for the Microsoft SQL is, the username is SA, the password is 4004, and the local database host address is administrator or local host, and the database host port is 1443. So this is what we will put in, in the TCP or in the IP. So I'll just click on next, I won't enable the security. Click on next. And then I won't create a new keystone, so I'll just uncheck this, I'll click on next. So this is a folder or the database that I want to create, so it will be named Primavera Database, PMDB for Primavera Database. And then I'll just leave it as a default, and then click on next. So after this, I'll have this uh, area, so for your case it might just have priv, so privileged user, like P-R-I-V user, maybe without the three, but for my case, I have the three because I had already installed Primavera some time back. So having done that, I'll just copy this and I'll paste the password to be the same. So I'll copy the same for the public user and paste it like so. So control C, control V, control V, and then I'll click on next. And then I'll set up the password, the administrator it, the administrator user password so I'll put it as welcome one and I'll load the sample data so this is uh, the sample files or the example that we already have so let me just confirm this okay and then my currency is in dollar but you can change to the one that you maybe use in your country for my case we use the USD dollar next and install so just give it a few minutes or a few seconds as the installation runs
So after the Primavera database setup is done, just click on next. And then because we just want to install one, we'll just hit on finish. If you want to install another one, you can just click on next. But for our case, it's done. So click on finish. So having done this, the next thing we'll do, we'll just restart our computer and then we'll install the Primavera P6 ePPM files. Thank you.